What does Cristiano Ronaldo do to celebrate? Well, he goes out and buys a $7 million yacht. Ronaldo's Azimut Grande 27 Metri is a super yacht fit for a superstar. Sure, it's not a mega yacht like the one owned by Jeff Bezos, but it's still incredibly luxurious and stylish. It's the perfect yacht for Ronaldo and his family, and a great investment considering he used to rent a larger yacht at a cost of nearly $250,000 per week. Ronaldo's new yacht is filled with luxurious features, and the owner's cabin is fancier than a five-star hotel room. Here's a look at Cristiano Ronaldo's new $7 million yacht. The Azimut Grande 27 Metri is no ordinary superyacht. It exudes elegance from top to bottom. It's no wonder that Cristiano Ronaldo decided to buy one of these beauties after he won the Serie A championship with Juventus FC. The 27 Metri is a perfect little yacht for cruising up and down the Italian coast. Even though Ronaldo is back at Man U, he still owns his Azimut Grande 27 Metri. He bought the luxurious ship so he and his family could relax on the open water, wherever they may be. At just 88 feet long, the Azimut Grande 27 isn't the biggest yacht in the world. Far from it. However, it is luxurious. Many of the yacht's cabins and rooms are far more luxurious than the executive boxes at Old Trafford. Ronaldo's 27 Metri was built by a team of highly skilled craftsmen at Azimut Benetti Shipyards in Viareggio, Italy, and no expense was spared. Only the finest materials were used to build the ship. Thanks to the carbon fiber construction, the 27 Metri can withstand even the roughest waves, or a blistering strike from Ronaldo himself. The top deck of the Azimut Grande 27 Metri is the perfect place to chill and relax. There are luxurious features from the bow to the stern. At the bow, you'll find a succession of terraces, each offering a place to soak up the sun. The massive lounge chair at the bow offers more than enough space for Ronaldo and his entire family. The plush white leather seats are so comfortable and cozy that it would be easy to fall asleep even if the yacht was in motion. On the next terrace up, you'll find more comfortable seating, this time in the form of an adjustable sofa. This is a great place to enjoy a few cocktails or have some brunch al fresco style. A hard top cover hangs over the center of the top deck. If rain starts to come down, it can be closed. But if the weather is nice, it can open up to let the sun shine in. Let's be honest, the weather in the French Riviera is so nice that the top is probably always down. That's just the way the world's wealthiest travel. When you're worth $500 million like Ronaldo, sunny coastlines and pristine beaches are just a part of everyday life. The stern of the 27 Metri is another great place to hang out. There's a sleek bar area complete with bar stools as well as an elegant solarium. The curves of the bar even match the design of the boat's hull. How cool is that? There's also a hot tub at the stern of the yacht. It's surrounded by two white leather chase lounges. There's no shortage of places to lay back and take in the cool sea air. Ronaldo's Azimut Grande 27 Metri is just as nice below deck as it is above deck. The owner's cabin is so luxurious that it's akin to an executive suite in a high-end hotel. The owner's cabin is surprisingly spacious thanks to an innovative design. It actually spans the entire width of the yacht. Talk about palatial! Floor-to-ceiling windows bring in plenty of natural light, and as an added bonus, stunning views of nearby shorelines. Think of them as ultra-luxurious portholes. Ronaldo can even watch the sunrise without having to get out of bed. All the furnishings in the owner's cabins were specially designed by famed Italian architect Achille Savani and built by expert craftsmen. The bathroom that's attached to the owner's cabin features marble countertops and a walk-in shower with marble walls. The bathroom is also filled with top-of-the-line stainless steel fixtures. You'll even find special accessories in the owner's cabin like an elegant watch case. It's ideal for Ronaldo because we all know how fond he is of his Rolexes. A stunning spiral staircase reminiscent of one you'd find in a stately manner leads to four more luxurious cabins. The two cabins at the stern of the yacht can be combined to form one huge VIP suite. Each of the aft cabins has a double bed with a window above the headboard. The air conditioning vents in the suites are hidden as are the TVs. They're located behind mirrors. The other two cabins, which are located at the bow of the yacht, are also filled with handcrafted furnishings. Azimut Yachts puts a great deal of effort into designing the Grande 27 Metri. Even the tiniest details show just how elegant the yacht is. 
If Ronaldo gets hungry when he's out to sea, he doesn't have to worry. The Azimut Grande 27 Metri has an impressive galley that's equipped with a large two-door fridge and freezer combination. The galley also has an induction oven where the chefs can cook five-star dishes. The large marble countertops are both stunning and practical. There's more than enough space in the galley to prepare some hot cuisine. Right next to the galley is the dining room. It's conveniently located next to the galley so the crew can quickly bring out the meals once they're ready. We're sure Ronaldo doesn't like to wait too long for his carabras and risotto. The Azimut Grande 27 Metri is a fine vessel, but it's not the most expensive yacht that Ronaldo has ever been on. Before he purchased his Grande 27 Metri, he rented a mega yacht called Africa One. Ronaldo rented the enormous 47-meter-long vessel at a cost of $239,500 per week. That's a lot of money to pay for a yacht charter, but hey, Ronaldo can afford it. Still, buying a smaller yacht is actually more affordable in the long run. The Africa One has a state-of-the-art gym filled with workout equipment and weights. It can accommodate 12 guests and has six suites, including a very luxurious master suite. The Africa One has a modern kitchen and is equipped with a plethora of water toys. It's basically a floating city with its own garage. Ronaldo likely had a lot of fun riding the Africa One Sea Dews and Sea Bobs. The coolest feature of this yacht has to be the giant inflatable water slide that can attach to the top deck. Just imagine flying down into the warm waters of the Bahamas at breakneck speed. Sounds fun if you're an adrenaline junkie. On the other hand, it might be a harrowing experience for others. The Africa One is also equipped with numerous wakeboards, wake surfboards, and paddleboards. It basically has its own surf shop. There's a lovely jacuzzi on the top deck of the Africa One, and the large retractable swim platform is a great place to hang out or dive into the water. The swim platform even has a docking space for three sea dews and two sea bobs. There's even an alfresco dining area where guests can enjoy world-class meals and mimosas. Sounds divine. The deck is so spacious that there's more than enough room to do some yoga, enjoy some bubbly, or even get a massage. The Africa One is powered by two M2U engines which give her a comfortable cruising speed of 22.8 knots and a top speed of 24.6 knots. The yacht carries 60,500 liters of fuel on board and 15,000 liters of water, which means that it's more than capable of lasting weeks in the French Riviera without having to refuel. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that Ronaldo has a car collection that's worth about $24 million? He doesn't just buy incredibly expensive yachts, you know. He owns a $12 million Bugatti Cento Diece that's one of only 10 in the world. Ronaldo is also fond of Ferraris. He actually owns five of them. His Ferrari Monza SP1 is worth $1.95 million. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to this channel for more great videos.